Right guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm just going to be showing you how to bleed your Shimano Dior M6000 calipers on your mountain bike or hybrid bike, whatever you've got them on. So I'll go ahead, I'll run through the steps. It's an easy way to bleed it and it always gives good results. Nice firm feeling lever on the handlebars. So if you've got a spongy feeling lever and you want to know how to bleed your brakes then go ahead, watch the steps, then you should be able to complete it yourself. Right, so here's the shifter in question. It's an M6000 Shimano Dior. So first thing you want to do is just undo your pinch bolt for your handlebars there. And just move it round so that it's parallel to the ground. So it's when you screw in the uh, bleed cup in the top here, it's not obviously at an angle, so the fluid would be level in it. So once you've done that, just nip that up. Right, so next stage is go ahead there, remove your 2.5mm hex head. It opens up your bleed port where your cup's going to screw into to replace that with the cup, don't lose the little o-ring that's on there as you can see, so put that safe. So once you remove the uh, cap there, you can screw in your bleed cup, make sure you've got an o-ring on that as well when you screw it in. Just thread that in. Like so, just nip it up. You see it's got a plunger in the top there, what's removable, so you can pull the plunger out of the middle. Obviously shuts the fluid off, so I'll just leave that in for a second. Right, so on the caliper end here, this may vary, but on these ones here, as you can see it's got a plastic cover there, where you can just flick out, that's covering up the bleed point. You may need a little screwdriver, you may just be able to flick it out like so, it's just a rubber cover there, it goes in just there and then you've got 3mm hex head there to open and shut the bleed point so once you've done that, you've located those What you need to do is, you can either remove your back wheel, take your pads out, put in your bleed block. It's up to you, depending on where, if you think you're going to spill any of the mineral oil over your pads and contaminate your pads. So if you haven't done it before, I recommend getting rid of your disc out of the way in your wheel, putting in a bleed block to remove your pads so you haven't got any worry of spilling it. That isn't a bleed block. That's just a replacement for the disc when you've got the wheels out. It's not a bleed block. The bleed block, the yellow like that, that goes in, in place of the pads and the disc. Right, so back at the handlebar end now. All I've done is remove the plunger out of the middle and put some of this Shimano mineral oil into the bleed cup, like you can see there. So, to bleed it, the way that I'm going to show you is I'll just pump the uh, lever a few times just to get any you may see some bubbles coming out into the cup I've seen about five or six bubbles there just come out so I'll go back down this end now right, so I'll come down to the wheel end here with a caliper so if you open up your bleed point, you can just see fluid, you'll see fluid coming out. So just crack it undone. And say it's done up, you just want to crack it undone. Half a turn. You see the fluid coming down. What you can do is pump your lever and it will go when you obviously because you've got the bleed nipple undone or the bleed screw in this case 
hand it would just go straight to the handlebar like so as you can see so I'm just pumping it the lever end keeping an eye on the bleed cup because you don't want to run out and you see it coming through in a minute you don't want to run out of fluid in the bleed cup so always keep your eye on that never let it run out otherwise you'll be drawing air back into the system so I'm just going to pump it through you want to stop before it's completely empty and then refill again so I'll do that so I'll just top the fluid back up again like so as you can see and then what I'll do you can see the fluid there has come out already so I've used I'll put a cup for all through so I'll just do a few more pumps just to put a bit more through so I know all the fluid in there is going to be clean fluid, new fluid none of the old is going to be remaining in there anywhere so just empty it back out a bit and I'll stick the uh, camera on the tripod for the next part so the next stage I've got the Allen key in place there on the bleeder or if yours has got an external bleed point nipples sticking out then you just have a spanner under it on it or we'll use a spanner open-ended spanner and then your hose obviously going onto it so at the minute I've got it shut so all I want to do is when I open this and I've still got fluid the hose is still under in the fluid like so in there so leave fluid in there in your bottle so what I'll do is I'll just crack this undone and when I crack it undone half a turn as I crack it undone I'll pull the brake lever to the handlebar so as it's touching the handlebar so I'll crack it undone like so pull the lever you see some air come out then and the hand I've still got the lever touching the handlebar and now all I'll do is tighten that back up then I'll let go of the lever like so and then as I crack this off again I'll pull the lever to the bar so crack it undone pull and you can see bubbles coming out and I'll tighten this back up let go of the lever you can pump the lever a few times with this still closed if you want to and if you're bleeding it from new and you haven't bled it before and you're doing this this is the simplest way to do it and the most effective way you can just if you're worried about that any if you've got internal cables anywhere the cable is showing it's out of the frame or externals even easier if you've got internal cables just flick the hose or tap the hose with a screwdriver anywhere that it's out of the frame up near the head tube you could just flick the flick the um, hose or tap the hose anywhere you can see it just give it a tap it helps get rid of the air bubbles so again I'll just crack this undone as I crack it undone I'll pull the lever to the bar and you say you can keep a high on the hose yourself and then I'll do it back up once it's done up I'll let go of the lever and basically I'll repeat that process with at least the bleed, at least three quarters full the bleed cup will be and remember you don't want to empty it out so before it gets near the bottom then stop doing it obviously so I'm going to crack it undone press it do it up let go of the lever crack it on done pull the lever do it back up let go of the lever crack it undone pull the lever do it back up let go of the lever and I'll just keep doing that 
like so, ever so simple, until I can't see any bubbles coming out. At the moment it looks pretty clear and there isn't any at all. So once I'm happy with that, I can lock the bleed nip, I'll lock it off so it's done up, then I'll let go of the lever, and then you can try your lever at the handlebar end. Like so, I've still got, like you see, that much fluid left in it. And now, the brake lever only moves that much. Before it used to have loads of travel in it. Now, it's perfect. Much better feeling brake, straight away. Just from doing that, with new fluid, simple job, as I say. Only takes five minutes to do. So the old mineral oil there, and never use anything else, Shimano brakes, always mineral oil, as you can see. Like so, Shimano mineral oil for the brakes. By doing that, you'll get a great feeling brake on it. You can try it, you can use a syringe, like so. Like I said earlier, you can use the syringe method, but I'm just showing you this method because it always gets, I've always had the best results from doing that, and it's so simple to do. When you're finished and you're happy with it, obviously what you want to do is if you get yourself a piece of rag, because there's going to be fluid in there, in this line, so gently pull that off. Like so, and as you pull it off, it just disappear back into the bottle. Like so. So you can get rid of your bottle. That bottle is just homemade bottle. Just a small bottle like that. Drill a hole in the lid, piece of hose, piece of wire, like so. Ever so easy to do, nothing technical about it. So you can put that to one side and dry off. Where the oil's just been. Dry the air off there. And don't forget to put your cover back on to keep the dirt out at the end of it for next time. So I'll just pop that in place. Recheck your bleed point. Make sure you've done it up. Just snug it up. It's only a three millimeter. So do that up. If you've got a spanner on yours, and just snug that up. No need to go over tightening them. And then we do the same with the handlebar end. I've still got the cup there, as you can see, like so. So all I'll do is I'll grab a plunger for the middle. And then what I'll do is I'll stick that in the centre so it blocks off the hole. Snug it in place, like that. And then what I'll do is I'll do this holding the camera. I'll undo and do it out of there. As you can see, you're gonna or some oil's gonna come out. See, I haven't got two pairs of hands, so I'll just get a piece of paper again. You will lose some oil. Just put that there like so. Undo the nothing's gonna come out because you've got the plunger in the middle, so that's not a problem. And then what you want to do is, as you can see, the fluid is full to the top there. You can see that. So what you want to do is get your uh, cover the screws back on with the, with the other, make sure, remember it's got to have a rubber o-ring on it, the cover, and screw that back in. Don't get rid of any fluid out of there. Just ignore that bit of fluid. Just screw it straight into there. Right here's the cover there with the o-ring. So I'll just screw that straight back in. I'm not sucking out any fluid or anything. I'm just gonna screw that back in there and just literally when it stops moving, that's it. It's tight enough. And then if you spill any, just wipe it off. You shouldn't have done. If you did, just wipe it off. It's only oil. 
there you go it's a nice freshly bled caliper and reservoir there right so there's some steps complete for you anyway so you can give it a go yourself see how you get on so if you found it helpful remember to give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more cycle a content until next video ride safe and i'll see you then